Today I'm setting up a deep water culture system for some of the tomato plants that I picked up in the garden center last week and I'm planting the rest of them in the ebb and flow system that I reviewed in a previous video. Hello everyone! These are the tomato plants I'm setting up today. They are celebrity tomato plants and they came as a nine pack for just under seven dollars from the Lowe's Garden Center in Union, New Jersey. Here's the end result. Well, not quite the end. I still have a couple of months to go before I can harvest anything, but this is the system all set up. And as you can see, I have some very happy tomato plants. That's because they're indoors. It's still in the 40s here and it's already May. I'm hoping the weather will turn warmer in the next two weeks so I can get the rest of the tomato plants planted out on the deck. The grow bags are waiting eagerly for their arrival. Here's the bucket system. You can set up multiple buckets, but I just wanted to set up one and compare the growth with the ebb and flow system I got from GrowAce. I planted celebrity tomatoes in both systems. Let's see which does better or are they the same? So here is the box the system came in. The box says it comes with an 8 inch mesh basket. That's like a net cup, an air hose, a 5 gallon bucket, a watertight seal, well I hope so, and an air pump. Let's go ahead and open the box. Here's the net cup. It looks and feels very sturdy. Next is an air pump and this is the bucket. It's already assembled. There's not much to do. An instruction manual and the air hose and that's it. It's really a pretty simple system. I've made a system like this myself. It's not hard to do and I have a video on that. But instead of using a bucket, I used a tote. Same idea. After buying the tote, the tubing, and the air pump, it's still cheaper to make it yourself, especially if you're setting up multiple buckets or totes. And I think it's more satisfying to make it yourself. Anyway, this is ready-made, so let's go ahead and set it up. The first thing I'm going to do is fill this bucket up with hydroponic water. That's water that I've infused with hydroponic nutrients. For the tomatoes, I'm using the Master Blend formula, which is a three-part mixture of the Master Blend, calcium nitrate, and Epsom salt. I have a video on how to mix that up properly if you're not familiar with the Master Blend solution. I filled the bucket up to just where the net cup is. You can see from this blue tube the water level. That's really handy for checking the water level once the plant is growing, although I like lifting up the net cup and looking at the roots. I don't know why, I just get a kick out of seeing the roots. So once I filled the bucket up with the hydroponic water, it's time to set up the pump. You can just put one end of the air hose into this blue tube and then the other end into the pump. Here you can see me pushing the air hose in I pushed it down until it was into the water part, about three quarters of the way down the tube. Then I decided to pour some water into the bucket so that it was above the bottom of the net cup since I wanted to make sure the seedling I'm planting in there stays nice and hydrated. You'll see in a bit how I planted her. I think it's a her. Then I connected the other end into the pump as you see here. This pump has a dial on it so you can control the airflow to make it stronger or weaker. Then I plugged it in and we've got bubbles. I kind of wish it came with an air stone so that the bubbles would be finer, but that's what it has. I put the pump up on a higher level than the bucket. That way if we lose power, the water doesn't back up into the pump. Or you can buy a check valve to prevent that, but this system doesn't come with that. So two things I'll probably buy, an air stone and a check valve. Here's the tomato seedling I'm transplanting into the bucket system. It was originally grown in soil, so I removed most of that carefully and then gave the seedling a nice soaking in a cup of water to get as much of the dirt off as possible. 
Next, I'm going to surround the plant with hydroponic clay pebbles to help support it in the net cup. By the way, I removed the lower leaves from the plant to give it a longer stem so that more roots can grow from there. The more roots the plant can put out, the healthier and hopefully more fruit it will produce. And here you can see the plant set up in its new home. I planted six more seedlings in the ebb and flow system. These are called air cubes. And now it's the next day and you can see all the transplanted seedlings are doing well. Here's hoping for a bountiful harvest. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Bye.